Hey everybody, just got done here. It's a Sunday afternoon. Thought I'd do the uh, yard walks. So I'm going to start with the lower yard walk and uh, give you a tour of what's going on here in the homestead. Let's see what's down here this weekend. You can see the, uh, the bees are really getting into the uh, autumn sunflowers. They're starting to really bloom and become a nice focal point down here in this garden. Got a lot of squash showing up down there. Getting its last little bit. We've got a couple of eggplants back there. You can see there's a snow white one there. I think there's another little one back there. I don't know if that one's actually going to fully form. Then we got the uh, tomatoes. We did our harvest. You'll see in the other one of the other video updates for this weekend. There's a lot of tomatoes that are starting to split, and uh, we're just dropping those down. Just taking the good ones for dehydrating. Some more squash coming on back here, back there. A lot of the yellow squash is really starting to take off. I've harvested quite a few of the uh, brandy wines off of this uh, pop-up tomato. And those are really tasty. Scarlet runner beans are doing their thing, feeding the pollinators. The uh, golden delicious apples haven't started to turn yellow yet. But I wanted to show you guys the, uh, the uh, September Fuji that we got back here. This is our first year of getting the September Fujis. They have this really cool pink color now. I thought you guys might want to check it out. Look at that. These things are beautiful looking. I think we're going to harvest these next weekend because they're about to the point now where the, the squirrels are going to start coming down through the trees here and uh, jumping off the fence and taking them off and starting to eat them. Because they've already cleared off the, uh, the neighbor's apples off that tree there. That's an apple tree that's not maintained. It just kind of grows wild at this point. So we're going to have to take these off. I might come out and grab those tomorrow. Spaghetti squash I'm going to take this week. Just that, just a couple of these ones that are really yellow. Paula's going to make her zucchini. Not zucchini, it's the uh, spaghetti squash lasagna. That's really good. Harvested off all the, uh, the grape tomatoes and pink boars, as you saw in the uh, other video update. These little mats wild, they're just uh, too much of a pain in the rear to try and uh, harvest off and slice. So we've been just kind of picking them off and we'll eat these in our salads as we come out. We'll come out and pick off probably about 20 or 30 of these, throw them in our salads and eat them fresh. They're really good fresh. I mean, they're just... And if you twist them when you pull them, you can get it off without having the, uh, the flower end. And then they're nice and tasty. Columer apple, it's about ready. I think this is a green apple, so I'm not going to expect too much color change on that one. But uh, there's quite a few good sized apples on there. Paula will probably make some more of her applesauce. Hopefully, fingers crossed, maybe I'll get an apple pie. I keep asking for these apple turnovers and uh, things, and she keeps putting it all into the applesauce. <laughs> Let me show you guys the. Uh, the fall garden. There's all the uh, broccoli. Seems to be doing really well. I had to put some more sluggo out because we got a little visitor that got aggressive on one of them. So I've been coming out here in the evenings when they crawl out, stabbing as many of them as I can with our uh, hog fuel mulch. You just take a couple of those and spear right into them. But uh, yeah, so. And that one uh, back here, it looks like it's starting to come back. That little cabbage back there. Looks like it got completely eaten by the slugs. Looks like it's starting to bounce back. The uh, beans are starting to grow a little bit more, but uh, I don't have much hope of getting a harvest off those. Sweet potatoes are starting to turn a little bit in some of the leaves, so I expect I'll probably need to harvest these off, you know, before we get too much wet weather. And that one back there, starting to see a little yellowing of the leaves. Potatoes up here, I'm gonna do a video for you guys this week on the, uh, the potato bags that we got here because they're starting to die off in their final leaves there. You can see they're starting to really start to yellow. So I'm gonna harvest those off and you can actually see some of the potatoes down there are starting to uh, pop out of the bag. <laughs> That's, those are the uh, little sacrificial sprouted potatoes that were left over from spring. So we stuck them out here and they look to be doing pretty well. I mean, we should get I'd hope to get at least maybe 20 pounds of potatoes out of those two bags, which will be nice. Paula can make some nice uh, hash browns with that. 
We had a lot of tomatoes as you saw in the bag, the, uh, the green bucket today that I harvested in off of this trellis. And then those two plants there and then that cluster over there of Montesinos. Let's see, what else? We've been getting a lot of the uh, Monte Cristo beans. You see there's a lot still on here. Some of these Paula couldn't reach. So we're gonna have this for our other meal. Last night we had a whole, whole tray baked in the oven with the uh, Parmesan cheese sprinkled on top and the olive oil. Boy, that was good. Let's see, cucumbers, they're going, oh, I can show you guys the, uh, I wanted to show you what the uh, Puna Cures look like when they get that dark, kind of brownish color. They almost look like a potato. So this is what they look like when they get their golden brown color. And this is when they say that you're supposed to get the most flavor out of these guys. So we got two of them here. So Paul and I are going to eat this in a uh, balsamic vinegar salad this week. Looks like we got another big one down there. Then we've got a ton of the little yellow, you know, non-yellow, little kind of greenish yellow all over through here. So I'm really happy with this book, these plants. Just on this, you know, small trellis here. It's like an eight foot by 10 foot, you know. Well, it's not eight feet high at all. That's probably about seven. But, uh, you know, probably about eight feet long, maybe nine. We've just gotten so much harvest off this. You can see there's flowers still producing huge, huge amounts. We've got nothing but uh, good things to say about these cucumbers. And then our beans up here, you can see they're uh, still moving along. And they're starting to flower, so we're actually going to get some beans off of this, hopefully. We've got our Asian pear here. Looks like they're starting to turn yellow, a lot of these. I love these pears. These things are so sweet, they're so nice. Let's see, what else have we got in the lower yard? Oh, roses are starting to send out their final buds. The strawberry patch is starting to spread nicely underneath the roses. Comfrey's starting to get the downy mildew on it so you know that you're hitting fall. Flowers popping open here. Got a couple of it went across the, uh, fell down and they're trying to grow in sideways. We had a nice mole decide to make this his home down in here. So I'm gonna have to uh, probably set a trap for that guy because once they get into the uh, patio area, I figure they're invading my space and they're making a lot of work for me to have to clean up. And they're wrecking our clover that's in between the grout lines. Well, not grout lines, but you know, between the rocks. Here's some of our bush beans with some pop-up salad. So we started using this for our, uh, our tacos on Tuesday, since we're out of salad on the indoor tents. Paula was surprised and she came down here and said, what is that? And I said, oh, that's salad. And she's like, oh, cool. Free is good. I think that's about it for the, uh, the lower yard here. We harvested off the uh, gala apples, they're all gone. Bamboo's doing well. Sunflowers are all pretty much gone because they were a summer variety. And everything looks like it's starting to head into fall. All right, well, this is the end of the uh, lower yard update for you guys. All right, talk to you again in the uh, upper yard video. Bye.